Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So in the last episode, we planted all the crops we needed to, and we're just waiting for them to bloom, that way we can get through the doors. For now though, I have a bit of stuff to do. Grab one of those, hope we can, yep, black grass. Black grass is extremely useful and something I kind of need a lot of. We're not getting a lot of it is the issue. Well, uh, I'll have to deal with this stuff later, but for now, we have some stuff to ship. The Scorpion Tail. Sometimes these still contain poison. Handle with care. We've apparently never shipped a uh, medium fur, wooly fur, awkward. Fish fossil. The fossil remains of an ancient fish. Some collectors would kill for this. Uh, beyond that, I think we've shipped all those other items. Actually, the ruby isn't supposed to be here. I was going to use that for something else. I'm just going to put these down here. Ignore those things. The black grass. Emitting a black light, this grass is often inadvertently stomped on at night. Alright, I believe that's everything. Also, just so we can read it, Blood Crystal Seed. Planted in the spring, requires time to grow. Blood Crystal like seeds. Just trying to clear out my inventory a bit. There we go. So I guess I'll water up here first, but we're actually not going to be doing our chores the normal way today. I need to water the stuff here on Mount Gigant like I normally do, and then instead of just doing it normally, we're going to be heading over and trying to get a uh, amethyst. They're fairly common, so it won't be hard. But once I get an amethyst, I can actually upgrade my water pot now that we have access to emerald and aquamarine. One aquamarine, one emerald, one ruby, one gold, one amethyst, and... One line water pot makes the rainbow water pot. This bad boy can hold a hundred squares of water, almost twice the previous amount. Rather going to the normal spots first, I'm actually going to hit up this area first, here in Casimir Ruins. We don't really have any... Oh right, I forgot you come in here on Wednesdays. I like people who befriend monsters. Yeah, so anytime that we've been like, oh, I wonder where Sharon always goes on Wednesdays, it's in here. That That's the answer. It's, she just comes and hangs out in here. But like I was saying, we can't actually get any, you know, unique drops from enemies here, or at least none that I really care about that much. Now, though, we can at least water all these uh, fields in one go. I believe it takes 72 water, and luckily for us, we're sitting at 100 water. Now, while we're in here already, little crystals, always appreciated. Wind crystal, you know, whatever. I have a feeling like you just can't get it out of these ones, or it's just really rare and you have to wait until another dungeon. But Platinum just doesn't seem to want to drop for me here. Maybe it's, you know, just because my level's lower, or I'm still using the gold hammer. I'm sure it would be fairly common if I were to use the Platinum Hammer in here, but that would require me to get Platinum. I do feel like I'm getting more since I've started this, though, like more like little crystals and things like that. Or maybe I'm just lucky today. Who knows? Okay. If we head over here to the pot, we use one purple grass and one grape together. We can make the grape liqueur. I've already shown that off before, but rather than shipping this one, this one's a gift. Birthday gift for Sabrina. Thanks, I love the grape liqueur. It's been a, it's been a great birthday. You don't just like exploring, you live for it. Um, we're currently at 10 friendship with literally everyone. At this point, I'm just showing off what people say, not really trying to raise friendship or anything. Um, we have three people up to 10 love. Laura's up to 7 love, and then the rest of the Bachelorettes are at 6, except for Fwist who's at 5, Melody who's at 4, and Tori who is finally at 1. Melody and Tori are two of the slowest, because Bianca you can just, you know, remember to talk to her and she eventually falls in love with you. 
Um, Tori just does not care. The only thing she cares about is reading books every single day, which you have to remember to do. And I think her birthday is a good way to raise her love. I think if you give her gifts that day. So that's how I plan to do it. Yeah. Speaking of, Bianca, you have to cast me ruins. Well, be careful there. So we need at least three wolf claws in total. I've already shipped one. There's my second. So one more for minimum, but I'm don't know whether I included the sword I wanted to make, so if I didn't, that means I need to get one extra. Okay, that puts us up at three, so I'll get one extra just in case. This extra one is gonna be the hard one, isn't it? Gave me exactly what I needed, but not exactly what I wanted. Wow, these guys are being real jerks about this last one. There we go. Wolf Claw obtained. And now, the scorpions. And since I have it ready in here, just in case I get hit. Dang it, another scorpion tail. Give me the pretty skin. I need it. I need the pretty skin. There we go. Pretty skin. It's not just pretty because it's blue, I don't know what you're talking about. It's also sparkly. Listen, if you guys just give up your skin, then none of your friends have to die. I kinda messed up when I say it like that, to be honest, but, like, it's kind of true. I just need two more. I guess they're technically being returned to the Force's beginnings, but in Rune Factory 4, that's kind of implied that that might be the afterlife anyway. So this world's like a, like, all monsters come from the afterlife kind of deal, come into our world temporarily, and then go there when they die. So we're just, we're just making sure their souls don't end up as ghosts. That's why we have this magic spell on our tools. Also, we made all of our tools, so who put the spell on there? I don't know. Dang it, another scorpion tail. If both those scorpion tails had been pretty skins, we'd be set right now. Now I'm not dealing with this speed. Another fish fossil. I totally need more of those. Level up. Another scorpion tail. Yay! Totally what I needed. Since it was immediate, that means this is obviously a lucky run, and I will totally get the pretty skin in no time at all. No time at all. No time at all. Oh. Actually, that didn't take that long. Alright, one more pretty skin. I think. Yeah, I have two and I only need three? Yeah. Okay. Dang, I was really hoping. I was really hoping I hadn't just fully messed that up, but I did. Technically, there was still an enemy I could have grinded on, but... Final one has been obtained. Alright, so pretty skin. We have all three of them now. So, as far as other items that are unique to this cave, I believe the poison powder would be the final one. I'm gonna check my list just to be sure of that. Poison powder is, in fact, the last one. Okay, the final ones are right up here. And we're actually gonna show something off that I've actually not done before. I'm gonna sleep in a cave. Oh, right, I don't think I can do it. 
Ooh, I can't do it on screens that have monsters. Okay, never mind. We're not sleeping in the cave. Because I don't have time to kill that thing and sleep. So I tried to sleep in the cave before, but it didn't exactly work out in my favor. I ended up not realizing that you had to have the monsters dead, because I'm a silly, silly person who never uses the sleeping bags. Just don't think they're that good, so, you know. The Winter Festival's on the sixth day of winter. You may receive chocolate from a lady from Mayor Godwin. Interesting. So, 740 rolls around and we're ready to head into Casimir Cave. I'll keep in the Casimir Cave watering just because, you know, it is a required thing that you're doing. It's not just like, oh, hey, yeah, he wants to grow more crops for whatever reason. For me, it's just because I want to complete the shipping list, which means I'm having to water a bunch of crops that are going to take a very, very long time. Also, I'm actually going to use the Casimir Ruins as they are a spring crop to do the Blue Crystal Seeds. Well, yes, it's one more thing we have to water in here, at least it's while we're heading in here anyway. So at the end of this series, because a bit of a spoiler alert for all of you fancy folks at home, this is not going to take us another year. Um, I'm just going to sit back and kind of do a time skip again, where I just water everything and go to sleep and just do that over and over and over again. It won't exactly be interesting for me, but it'll get us the desired result. Alright, two more days of water, and well, one more day of watering, and then I think the next day is when we actually get our crops. And while I'm here, let's get a bit of experience as well as, you know, a potential for a drop. Alright, I believe the final item we need out of all of this cave that, you know, will only pop up in this cave is the poison powder from the Tricky Mush. At least I believe the name is Tricky Mush. Terrible enemies. Those archers are terrible. Twice, like one and a half times the HP, one and a half times the defense of the melee versions of those orcs. And just... Uh, awful. I hate it. Ranged enemy should have a high attack, lower defense, not high attack, obscenely high defense. Okay. Well, they're dead. Just kind of hoping for some random cool drop. Poison powder. One out of the four we need. Come on, really? Do I have a... No, I don't, of course. Well, I won't be staying here for too long, then. And if you got jerks wanna, you know, give me your drops, you should do it now. level up. <laughs> now, of course. Alright. So I could have just kept killing him. It would have been fine. What? Oh. Nope. Another cheap cloth. Oh. Another cheap cloth. Also, I just took a look at what the Orc Hunters drop. Apparently it's just the Arrowhead and the Earth Crystal. They have nothing I care about. So I should never fight them. Ever. There we go. Another one. Another one bites the powder. Another one down and another one down. 
about to level up. These guys are actually worth a good amount of experience. I can get these two poison powders to drop, then I'm all set. Here we go. Number three, numero tres. And that's four. Figure, kill you real quick. How close are we? We're actually pretty dang close. Yeah. Just another kill or so. There we go. See ya, sucker. That is every item that is unique to this cave. Or at least every monster drop that is unique to this cave. We're gonna grab some more energy and then I think I'll... I'm not sure whether I want to try fishing or not. I know the odds are not in my favor is the problem. I know that it's just... You know, not exactly worth my time. But, honestly, there's not a lot else I need to do. I could just try grinding up an item out of Casimir, because there is, you know, one that I can get right now. I guess I'll try just try to grind these items out of Casimir. I can, you know, try to get some platinum, try to get the monster drop that's in here that I care about. I might get something good, might get nothing, who knows. And I just... Good job. Saw the enemy ran left right into the... Pool of poison. There. Alright. Platinum, come to me! I said, Platinum, come to me! Nope. Platinum, if you don't get out here really quick, I'm going to kick your butt. So my best guess is that you just can't get Platinum, or it's really rare from these rocks. You might be able to get it at a later point in the dungeon, or it might just be fairly uncommon in the dungeon period in... It's just fairly common in the next dungeon. We actually had less time than I thought. It's probably a good thing I decided to do this. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm ahead up here with nothing in this room, and I'm gonna sleep. You can use the sleeping bag one more time. Time to go to bed. I've never done this before. Ever. I got a little bit of RP back, I got a skill up, which is, you know, more important than the RP, to be honest. Just to be able to say, say that I've done that before. And now I can water these crops without having to just leave and come back into the dungeon. I'll of course be using HP to do this mostly because, you know, I used up my RP, but yeah, it's fine. Saves me a bit of... I never refilled my water before I came here. That was a complete waste of time. Gotta love it when I think I'm being smart and I'm being a total moron. Hey there. There's a festival today, but it doesn't affect me. Head back into Casimir Ruins to water them. They'll be done tomorrow. Alright, before I forget, water. And now, before we go up there... Wait, what? Hey, Raguna, there's a festival today, so I'm going to give you this. You got chocolate. Is this for me? Yeah. Thank you. I'd be so happy if you like it. Okay, see you. Hey, Raguna, there's a festival today, so I thought I'd give you this. You got a chocolate. Is this for me? Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Thanks. Okay, see you later. Hey, Raguna, there's a festival today, so I brought you this. Yeah, do you like it? 
I'm so happy you like it. Great. Okay, uh, see you later. There's a festival today. I have something for you. Yeah, you like it? You like it? Great. Okay, catch you later. Haha. <laughs> Unintentional puns. I heard there was a festival today, so this is for you. What, you don't like it? I get embarrassed when people thank me. Okay, I'm going back. See you later. Marguna, there's a festival today, so people give each other chocolates, okay? I'm happy you like it. These customs people have our... These customs people have are interesting, eh? There's a festival today, so I'm giving you this. I thought you don't care about festivals, hmm? Yeah, this feels right. I'll give you this. It's also natural to feel happy. We'll catch you later. Raguna, seeing as there's a festival today, I made you this. Made me this? Oh god, I don't know if Mist is a good cook or not, and I imagine she isn't. Yeah, you're sweet, just like the chocolate. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I knew you liked sweet things. And that's the festival. Um, so we didn't get it from everyone. We could have gotten it from Tori as well, but Tori didn't like us enough. And I believe she was the lowest out of everyone? Yeah, so... Melody. Melody also didn't visit us, so I don't know what the exact requirement is. I'm actually going to check that. Five or more love points. So we missed out on Melody and Tori, but I'll show that off in a, you know, probably a quick thing next year. Alright, well, that was neat, and... I guess we'll just go up and see if we can talk to people. Anyone gonna comment that it's a festival? Good morning. Did you like the chocolate? Good morning. I love going to the store, even if I'm just window shopping. Today is the festival. I wonder if Rosetta would give someone some, some chocolate. Mm, yeah, about that. I mm, about that. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> hey, Laura. Did you eat the chocolate I gave you? How was it? Yes, I ate it. It's not sitting in my inventory along with seven other pieces. Today's the festival. When I was young, I would get so wired on this day. Please, do come in. Cecilia was also holding onto some chocolate. I wonder who she intends to give it to. I'm pretty sure it's obvious. It's... You know, there's three people she appreciates. There's you, as her father even if adopted. Uh, there's Nicholas, her best friend, and then there's me, the person who she looks up to, who saved her life. Good morning. Now you're going to cast- oh. Everyone's heart is like a book. So I guess she just doesn't comment because we don't have her a high enough level. She'll be upstairs and she probably won't comment anyway. Hey, that reminds me, there's a festival today. I always used to get chocolate in the old days. <laughs> Good morning. How was the chocolate that I gave you? Today's the festival. I wonder if Melody would give me some chocolate. I have a feeling something bad is happening. The monsters usually aren't so aggressive. I mean, it might be due to the fact that I'm slaughtering them by the hundreds. It's the festival today. Nowadays, people just think of it as a day for chocolate, don't they? Mr. Raguna, where does the path you follow... The path follow you... Where does the path you follow lead? Okay, I don't know why I had trouble reading that. Good morning. There's a festival today. I could eat so much chocolate I could drown in it. The chocolate I gave you tasted good, didn't it? Mm. 
Good morning. Raguna, I'm only telling you this because of who you are. It looks like the, the Empire is on the move. Don't tell anyone. I don't want the townsfolk upset. I'm going to keep on making investigations. Yeah, great. Empire's on the move. We don't know a lot about them other than the fact that they're total jerks. There's a festival today. This town shows a lot of events I... You take care out there, Raguna. Today's the festival. I bet you'll be up to your elbows in chocolate before the sun goes down, Raguna. You know, Raguna, you really inspire me. How does the chocolate taste? So, you're finally gonna have to cast me ruins. You're a brave man, Raguna. Raguna, do you... You know, you have already read this. It's fine. Moving, moving. No, no. <sighs> moving on. It's the day of the festival. I always used to give chocolate in the past. <laughs> I wonder why monsters exist. Don't you think it's weird? I love Daddy. Daddy always tells me how much he loves me, too. <laughs> but Daddy never talks much about when I was little. I wonder why not. We're gonna, I'm having another good day today, as I take away the attention from Nicholas. Lately, Susie won't play with me. Hey, can I come to the farm sometime to play? Mom told me not to go to the dungeon, but sometimes I go anyway. Don't tell, okay? Yeah. CC and Nicholas are slightly growing apart as time goes on. And that's might be slightly due to Raguna's fault. CC has a lot of affection for Raguna, what with him saving her life and everything. And because of that, she doesn't hold Nicholas as dear. It'll be explained more. Uh, a little bit of a spoiler, Cece's a bit of a returning character in a way. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll see more of her in the future. Alrighty. I'm glad I'm getting black and white herbs, and... able just in general to take care of all this. I know I'm running low on space, though, and by running low, I mean I have two spaces left open. Oof. I don't really need gold right now. Gold. Diamond. I don't need this earth crystal. Pretty skin. The skin of an insect. It has beautiful spots. Poison powder. Poisonous powder. Handle with care. There we go. There we go. Quality cloth. I knew eventually as I ran through here I'd kill them. Or at least I would get a reward for killing them. I, w I was gonna kill them no matter what, but... Not fighting you. I keep on running, running, and running, running, and running, running. Alright, now if we head here into the boss room... We're going to try, at least, to get something good. A sardine. That's not on my list of boss room at fish. Huh. Funny. Gotta love it when things are wrong. Another sardine. Another sardine. If this is trying to tell me that my fishing rod is terrible and that I need to get better, it's doing a good job. A mackerel, which is another fish not on my list. A skipjack, there we go. That's one of the good ones. A second skipjack, we need a total of three of these. If I get lucky, I'll get one of the really rare ones. Or I can just keep getting sardines, which, once again, are not in my fishable fish list in this area. I guess whoever was testing this was testing it with, like, an endgame fishing rod. So that's all three skipjacks now. Skipjacks, by the way, are not one of the fish I was going for in this room, but 
there's still something unique to this cave, I believe. I'll let you look into that. Okay. I'm going to teleport out of here now that I have the three skipjacks. If we take one skipjack, you can make skipjack sashimi with it. Another skipjack at the frying pan will make a fried skipjack. One quality cloth, a cloth of high quality, has strong fibers to prevent tearing. Skipjack, a popular autumn fish, requires skill and strength to catch. Skip sashimi, fresh skipjack cut and served raw with soy sauce and ginger, but not wasabi. Fried skipjack, salted skipjack fried in a pan, rich both in flavor and aroma. There we go. And I'll just ship these fish, because why not? Alright, I think that's it. Cool. Let's see if I've used the bathhouse today or not, because I kind of lose track of that kind of stuff. I don't think I have. Evening. I'd like to talk first. I like festivals if I have someone to give chocolate to. Oof. Should have focused on going to the bath more often so you could give me some. Actually, now that I think about it, does it actually affect people's love to do that? Eight, eight, seven, seven. Actually, I think it did. I think they gained love by giving me chocolate. I'm, I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Come on, Gabe. I guess I'll just keep on running with this affecting me for a little bit. That way I can not have to worry about poison. There we go. Face me. Alright. Now that we have level 2 camping, we can actually use it two times. Let's go to sleep. 